What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to pick up where we left off, we have the objective would be a fast city battle uh, against this Mughal garrison, but it's calling in another reinforcement army with a whole bunch of infantry, plus a couple of other um, straggling straggler armies nearby. But if we can take the city, that would really blow a huge hole in southern India because there's actually no other real f there's I mean there's a, an army here I'm in Surat but this is their focus of strength if we can destroy that our armies can just spread out and really push north and cause them some problems we're not gonna look at uh, up here yet because we've you know it's easy to focus on a region at a time but yes it's gonna be potentially a bit dodgy because we do we are going to be attempting a fast city battle, um, but we'll do what we must. So I think probably the order of the day is going to be infantry first for every army coming in. If we're going to be short of anything, it's going to be short of infantry. We do not want to waste time um, having artillery rolling in. Yep, yeah, good stuff. Um, oh, one more. Uh, good stuff. So we're going to attack the city. Like, um, as you've done before, try and really knock them down to as low as possible without routing. So we can capture the city fairly quickly and just hold off the enemies for about two minutes. But yeah, let's attack Hyderabad. And I'm, I'm really curious to see what happens in the Americas. Um, I should, I am going to continue to pressure the, the Mughals in the Americas because it seems cheap to just sit there and go, ha ha, I'm going to just take your homes and then you'll all go away. Um, so I, I am going to keep pushing in the Americas. Because obviously, the more, I want to take as much territory as I can before they turn into native units or the United States or, you know, other factions. Either way, once we break India, the campaign is going to rapidly transition towards the end game. Um, because once India has fallen, the enemies on the continent will become significantly easier to sweep up. Because they'll be starting as new nations from scratch, or well, relatively from scratch, as while we are um, going to be pretty fully developed well fully developed with a whole bunch of troops waiting so I'm going to send most of my armies in through the front door most of my troops in through the front door I'm going to send some men around the flank the fact that, <laughs> the fact that some of them could hide in that little patch of trees is a bit laughable Okay, then my howitzers. We can try and use the cover of these buildings. So we can definitely shoot over them. Attack ground in the center. All my artillery. Focus on the... One of our shots has hit the hit the building in the center but I'm hoping I can do I can thin out some of this cavalry I'm assuming the the infantry will be thinned out from my gunnery attacking the walls yeah there was a building a, a bit closer I think so that the trajectory of the guns might suggest that's a bit dodgy but actually when they fire, the angle of the angle of attack of the shells, if you like, the trajectory of the shells, that's the more conventional word. So if I speed up, no, oh, completely missed it. But you can see from the smoke trails, they do get up over the hill. And we've killed their general, which is quite nice. So let's stop doing that for now, because everyone's a bit upset again. Let's start to knock out some of these infantry units. How is the mortars doing? Because there are mortars in here. Hindu warriors, camel gunners, Sipahi. Maybe there aren't. 
I'm sure, I'm sure I saw mortars in there. Don't know. This section of the wall is going to be collapsed. Just keep knocking holes in it. Just keep knocking holes. We're going to make so many gaps in this line that it's going to be as, try and make it as easy as possible for our armies to advance. Yeah, they're aware that someone's over on the left. Make sure the guns are reloading, because I did give them orders. When time was... Yeah, time was... Time was, um... Increased. Come on. Boom, boom, boom. So sadly, this section of the wall doesn't, doesn't get, um, destroyed until the enemy have... Until the... The walls are 100%. Um... Normally they would be significantly damaged when they get up to 50%, or potentially 75%. Yeah, there's a camel gunner unit here that's really been... Hindu warrior unit has been cut down to three men. Still firing. Keep making gaps. More gaps, the more um, sections of the wall they have to defend. 64 men, 33 men. Change targets. Try make another one here because you might do damage a number of these armed populace troops. Although well, actually you are not attacking how I would like you to attack. I mean we're probably gonna make three or four breaches. It doesn't appear to be influencing their deployment of these troops. Cut down to 182. What I might do is actually withdraw my guns. Because we know we're going to have infantry coming in to support us. And that infantry is probably going to be, much, well will be, much more useful than our guns will be from this point on. So I thought they had a mortar unit, but maybe not. Okay, you can quick climb that unit, musketeers. These guys can drop. Maybe drop some over here to weaken these units. I don't want to start attacking the um center again yet until I'm more clearly well, I'm in the right better position because these guys can take a couple of shots we definitely need to time it correctly we're going to need a unit on the wall, and their job is to run around and capture all the gates. Okay, yeah, so they've, they've withdrawn to, to limber up, but they've not actually withdrawn off the map. How much is it still good? Oh, there's the, there's the mortar units. So 
One unit can attack there, one unit can attack slightly off to the side. Try and specifically go after some more of these mortar crews. So quick climb away. You missed trying to go after the mortar crews. Some good hits there, but I'd rather not damage the men in the centre too much more. Okay, go after some of these other units. See men push up. Let's get a unit by the gate to block it. Get a you get two units or three units up on the wall. Quick climbers hit that native lancer unit. Hit that camel unit. What? As long as you go stay over there. Bring my cuirassier over, because they are good at withdrawing. They are good at doing damage. Okay, let's get some more men on the walls, because we're going to need it. Take, take the gates. Open fire in the centre. Curassier, knock out the Kizzle Bashi, Guerrilla Mercenaries, get up here. Cavalry, get in. I was loath to bring my bring a unit of Curassier back. Fascinating. Some infantry coming in from a completely different direction. So let's get one unit across here to secure the gate. So my Curassier of Charge in the back of the Kizilbashi. So my cav my um, troops there are likely to fall. My my cav my gunners are likely to fall, I should say. You keep pushing. Keep running around. New men get up here. Get some of these units in here. You get over there and secure that entrance. Fire by rank should do a real number on those troops. If those guys can secure the gate while these men all run up to this gatehouse. No, don't run back, you've got orders. Well, those guys have picked the weird way to go about, the wrong way to go about doing that. Those, uni those units can get in. You guys just charge in. Okay, these guys have to climb the wall. Enemy reinforcements coming in from the south.
You men charge the mortars, you men charge Firelock Arm Populous in the center. That unit of infantry got charged down by Kizilbashi Cavalry. Get these men off the walls rapidly. And the unit of cavalry. So you men charge the Eastern Garrison, you men charge the Firelock Arm Citizenry. The gunners are finally routing. We got charged by camels. New men deploy to chase down that enemy general unit. If you guys can secure that gate and you guys can secure that gate, that would be really good. New men push in to hit them. Commit our troops to the fight. Good. Gate secured, so you men are going to chase off the general's bodyguard. You guys get over here pour fire onto whatever troops come our way. New men both attack the Firelock Arm Populous. Get these troops in as well. General's Bodyguard will fall. We're flirting with occupying the centre. get over here as well so get these men onto position up above this wall as well to start chasing off some of the enemy reinforcements okay really need to start cracking open taking out this firelock arm populace unit well, you guys might actually have to form up, like, okay, let's take these three units. Form line. Really didn't want, you, didn't want you to have to do that, but you men deploy into square. You men advance. These three units between them should knock out the Firelock Arm Populace fairly well. You men attack these, this unit of Kizilbashi. It looks like the folk bulk of the enemy units are coming in from the other direction. Form square. I've got to hold off the enemy for a minute. So get one unit to sit on the centre. I get the general's bodyguard to sit on the centre. Get a colonial line unit to form up to defend... Our other formations. You guys can make the 35th waiver or route. Let's get you guys over onto the, the floor of the uh, battlefield as well. To be honest, you guys can just get in here. Clone your line, keep engaging the cavalry. close you men form square this unit here okay, where's that last actual unit form square with that unit okay I think I got it I think I got it so you can see how things can really start... To, okay, you need to take the city quickly and then try and spin around to defend it. To defend the centre. Oh, yeah. Oh. So we are getting some more troops in, but I'm going to take that as a sneaky sneak victory. We broke in, managed to get in, capture it, secure the centre and pivot around some form of defence.
to protect against the enemies coming in. Oh, that was intense. Okay. <laughs> so their force has been... I mean, obliterated. They've got 800 men remaining out of the men nearby, and obviously one of them routes through our line. So Hyderabad has been secured. Let's repair the buildings. The army does is in dire need of support. Um, so this unit's a bit frustrating because you're out of range of attack being attacked by them. Send a detachment from Ahmadnagar. Two generals' bodyguards. And then fall back to the city. You men replenish. You guys, you're out of range attacking them, so you're not going to attack. Fabiano Castelli is going to push up near Hyderabad. We're going to get rid of this university, and we are going to bring Nino across the river as well, hopefully. If something we're not burning my eyes right now. How's that? Okay, so, across the river. I mean, Ernesto is replenishing. Balthazar, Bayano, hit Jazz 1, Rat 4. I'm going to water it. Lost a loads more men than we would needed to. Hey, you're in within, within range of attacking this chap now. Okay. So, Baldazar, you guys replenish. Ernesto, you can get topped up, as can Flavio. So, Ernesto, you hold here. Flavio, push up across the crossing point here. You men are replenishing. As are you. These guys are all out of range. If you're pushing up to resupply Nino Chetti. This force requires a unit of cavalry. So Curassier can push up. We can repair this happiness building here. We can raid the university. I mean, this line has to advance as a line, otherwise it won't won't work. Obviously, you're all still replenishing. We've got some troops back here, but you're probably... Well, you have to stay where you are, because they're really angry anyway. Um, then to the north, up here. So, what we can do, which would be pretty neat, I think, is bring up Girolamo Niccolò Luzzatto... Bardazari, Minicello, and Bartolomeo Asimani. And potentially attack one of these armies to fight a, a massive battle um, and push them back away from our armies here. So I think it's got to be Bartolomeo because your army has got plenty of infantry, some really good artillery. Let's make sure. Adriano here is also moved up to support. Bartolomeo hit Wuzam, Wuzam Singh. There we go, it's bringing in a lot of troops. But it's worth doing, because it will destroy at very least this contingent outside of the walls. Maybe not the... It won't bring in this guy, because he's stuck inside the city until Lahore falls. But yes, let's form up and again attack another core of the Mughal strength and make sure they don't continue continue their waging war elsewhere. Keep them pinned down. I mean, there will be a point where it's like I could fight all these other armies or I could take their cities. There'll, there will be a time where I have to make that call and I'll probably attack the cities because we've been fighting the Mughals for an awful long time now. Um, so it would be good, I think, to uh, to do that. But first, where they have large clusters of men outside cities, I will I will attack them because we either we either attack them before we attack the city, or we attack them 
or we try and beat them while we're attacking the city. And as I've just done that, I figured it would be good to fight a large pitched battle. Especially terrain like this. Oh, yeah. So deploy our guns. So the, the idea is that there shouldn't, quote unquote, be too many infantry on our flanks. That may well end up being the case. And I've got plenty of sharpshooters, which is okay and not okay at the same time. Well, the fuselier is going to deploy stakes, and my sharpshooter is going to deploy stakes ahead of my guns. And then my howitzers are going to be pivotal. So expect to see lots of reinforcements coming in off the bat. So everyone that can deploy stakes, deploy them. So the bulk of the first wave of... What? Where are you going? He's going to have you. He's had enough. That's a bugged out fusilier unit on one side. So shrapnel shot the camel nomads, although that's completely ineffective. This horseman, if they charge, are going to get hit. I don't want to move my left flank until it's become a bit more conclusive that the enemy are not going to spawn on the right flank. Because Obashi Cavalry are going to hit the spikes. So I don't want to do too much deploy redeploy nonsense. Attack them at range. And these aren't even the best reinforcement. Oh, they're all over there. I mean, I will. I suppose I could. F well, I should. Re I should really redeploy. Crewmen, I must have got charged. Oh, they must have. It would have got shot, I suppose. Canister shot the dervishes, although they're not going to be around for too long. Good hits. Artillery all round shot the general's bodyguard. I don't want them quick climbing or canistering units too close to my line. She goes hit Kizobashi cavalry. They want to charge, but they've got a lovely set of spikes in front of them. They've just ran into them. And that's the end of that. Deploy into squares. New men. Canister shot. General's bodyguard. Start to allocate new targets as they become available.
Load and fire at the general's bodyguard, please. Yeah, one... One infantry... One cavalryman bumped into my guns. And that was enough to make them go, well... So we've killed one general's bodyguard. Let's see what happens to stakes. They should die. No, you were... You had the guns. You were spinning. Well, these guys are going to be terribly upset about the, the sequence of events. Yeah, I was going to say... Um, yeah, they're going to be... They're busy. So you guys limber up. Let's push up, because it looks like we kind of have to deploy against the enemies to the front. Oh, friendly fire quick climb. Not a good idea. Get all our howitzers to round shots. This unit of General's Bodyguard running into the rear. You guys have to hit the dervishes. You guys fire at will to fire a volley into the Kizobashi. And send our Yeah, our regiment of horse just out of volley. Yeah, the camels are still having a pop at us. Pivot the guns. Pivot our line. I'm not using my cavalry on the left. On the right, I'm going to use it on the left. Fall back. Bring my general's bodyguard back. Yeah, one of our gunners is routing. Understandable. You guys pivot, pour fire onto these poor swines in the centre. You men fall back behind the safety of your line. Another general's bodyguard unit being killed. So killed a handful of men there. So these guys are now pouring fire by rank into this combat. Then goes our household guard just to try and keep them tied up. You men are supposed to have deployed into square, but I guess they have stopped you successfully. Those are levy units. Let's charge a unit, this unit in. You men attack that general's bodyguard unit that currently has no enemies or no one nearby trying to kill it, not no enemies. Fusiliers, run away! It's not so good. Hopefully you can kill that unit of General's bodyguard. Howitzers are lopping close range shots into the camel mercenaries right there. Here comes our other General's bodyguard unit. Sorry, General's bodyguard unit in against the levy. Bartolomeo. You know what you have to do. Do you have the strength to see it through? That's the question. We 
good. Enemies units falling back. Sink musketeers are sturdier than regular troops. I killed an enemy general's bodyguard unit. Sipahi are taking a volley in the flank from the skirmishers on their way in. A regiment of horse fall back. You men form square. Oh yes, they've gone wide. They're going to hit two units of spikes. It's another commander killed. If they continue to push, they're going to hit another another rank. Although they are wavering now. Unit of Levy. We're gonna keep fighting with our front with our main with our main army. You men form up behind the spikes. Heavy cavalry get over on the left flank. This gun team. You load your guns. They might be technically just out of range, but that's who I want you to kill. Chased away a unit of dervishes. Let's quick climb some of these scallywags that are coming back to our line. So this flank I do want to push to pull back. I don't want it to be too far away from somewhere that has spikes. Excellent quick climb hit into the Sikh Musketeers there. It's, it is a real shame those guys are out of range. Bombard troops as they come in. I don't. I can't send anyone around to flank and take them out yet. Okay, sneaky dervish units on their way in. Let's stretch our cavalry out to minimise losses. you fire at will, will you actually shoot at least? Two of you will. Another volley from our sharpshooters. Some good hits right in the centre of that block of men. The bowmen have routed. Dervishes potentially might join them, depending on the actions of my sharpshooters. Good stuff. They're still filing in. Maybe get a regiment of horse to start to try and pursue some of these units. No, don't actually, otherwise they'll just run around to the back of our line and cause us issues. Okay, these two units can withdraw. As can these fusiliers. So now I can re draw my line. You guys hit the bowman, you guys hit the bowman, you guys hit. These bowmen. 
they're, they're still swarming in. To be honest, you're also surplus for requirements. We've got Bartolomeo. But these units should give us allow us to access some more troops, the 89th, the 56th, and this regiment of fusiliers that has no name. If I limber you guys up, will, you, will that cure what ails you? Another regiment of horse. Very well, let's cycle this regiment of horse. It, an old one out, and a new one in. Let's get this general out as well. How it's the unit no. Household cavalry. Very well. Let's also replace a unit like that. So then we've also got So the 78th, yes, bring him in. And then if I limber, unlimber un you again. Ooh, a big unit of cavalry. Yes, please. Let's, let's actually fire you in on the right flank. It's got a bunch of weak units here that would be good for you to take out. Same with this regiment of horse. Swiss line, yes, please. In which case, let's start to switch to round shot, or otherwise not quick climb shots. Another infantry unit. So you guys, obviously you don't have any... Oh, actually you are now... You guys are completely bugged, so get out of there. So that's one bow unit shattered. It's two. Is that soon to be two bow units shattered? I very much hope. Two bow units shattered. Bring our cavalry back. to give these guys an order to retreat. Yeah, they're, they're getting on their horses. So I would like some actual artillery to try and do some counter-battery work. Although... Send some cavalry to do God's work. You know, horsemen, some dervishes, but mostly there's just a whole bunch of cavalry that needs taken care of. Okay, they're going to walk to gain some stamina back. We can go back to quick climbing their troops because we know that they aren't the troops we're interested in. Or more to the point, we can now advance because we've got more strength than we did have. Another unit of infantry coming in so they can 
come in, in top, at top speed, take their position on the edge of the line. This quick climb keeps coming in. Bartolomeo advance. This cavalry push up on the left. More reinforcements coming in, more musketeers. Let's put a squeeze on their line, because we know we know what we want to do. No one's routing. Well, there is a unit that's routing over there. There we go. So now the volleys can slam home. Okay, this flank's a bit vulnerable. Let's retarget some of our howitzers to take that into account because the left flank well the left flank has crumbled we can just say that more units coming in Ptolemeo up. Keep on pushing. More quick climb, yes. More quick climb, more volleys. Although that's kind of not necessarily what we want. So push all our cavalry in at once. So they haven't got a way to... Uh, they, haven't got, they haven't got a way to stop every unit. So this cavalry unit is intercepted to one of our heavy units, but we can still hit a regiment of horse. This heavy cavalry can knock up both these guns. This regiment of cavalry can still hit and do a lot of damage to the 32nd Dakil. Kill the gunners. Let's see if anyone else comes in. Yep, a unit of horsemen. So you guys surround and destroy that unit of horsemen. Okay, unit of dervishes are coming in. So ideally, you men will knock out the horsemen. Do a bit more damage while the main battle rages, then pull back. You guys try pull back that direction. You guys try pull back this direction. The actual bulk of the army has been hit. That's been a successful little raid right there. If they want to pursue us... Okay, this heavy cavalry unit might have to fight the horsemen to try and stay alive. Another general's bodyguards coming in. But the enemy in the field have been obliterated. In terms of infant, uh, ammunition, our guys are seemingly, well, they're fairly okay. Get this cavalry to countercharge the horsemen here. You guys need to keep fighting that unit. Still more troops coming in. So 
there's still one gun team closer than we were than we would like yeah they're gonna hit my sharpshooters in the flank heavy cavalry have been routed e men form square keep the sharpshooters running Danger close quick climb. So you men fall back. Cavalry here has been broken. Oh well, we've actually got rid of that entire horseman unit. Sweet. Okay, so then. You guys advance, these guys advance, more like this. They're still coming in. More heavy cavalry. Attack the musketeer unit. These two units both attack the skirmish cavalry. Still more men coming in. You men hit and destroy the lancers. These horsemen. There they go. So in terms of ammo, our units are generally pretty okay. The dervishes are running to try and support our their cavalry, currently being cut to bits by my heavies. I mean, they they might do okay at the start because they got the charge, but in general, okay, focus fire the general's bodyguard, except for the shortest range unit. Hit those Sikh musketeers. Still coming in. Push up quite quickly. You men hopefully knock out this unit of lancers pretty quickly. General's bodyguard is routing. So we're going to open fire on to the musketeers. These units go hit that bowman. We've killed the lancers. So let's bring up our cavalry again. Still, still more coming in. New men push up. Okay, let's start to leapfrog some of our artillery up. Okay, this gun focus on the general's bodyguard. This gun focus on something. Okay, they're all swarming onto this position here well I might just let my heavies deal with it so this gun team advance new unit cease fire so who are you household cavalry get out here because you're needed let's charge the camel gunners to even up the odds for my my oh there we go we actually managed to knock them back good stuff because yeah, I needed to charge my heavy cavalry into the camel gunners the camels are good against um, cavalry as it is I 
don't think they're coming in anymore, which is great. So you guys also charge the camel gunners. So between them, they should be pretty good. You charge that unit of bowmen. You charge that unit of bowmen. Levy. You know, Bose has been knocked out. Okay, this unit's also now too far away to help. This unit can unlimber. Pull all this cavalry back. I mean, you could actually potentially chase down now, because we've got rid of all their mobile elements. So you're ready to fire. You can engage the levy. Slide infantry unit might move back to support. Same with you guys. Let's get these cavalry to pursue, especially as it looks like they are now done for. Okay, seek warriors are another thing altogether. Unless they route, in which case that's great. Very well. Okay, they're all routing, so let's try charge some of these units more in the centre of the, the battlefield. Oh, they're definitely going to continue. There won't be many, many armies in this part of the world that aren't, in, well, in this battle that haven't been touched by this action at some point. Ceasefire the artillery. Pursue and destroy the levy. Ceasefire the sharpshooters. Now everyone get to killing. So this Seek Warrior unit would definitely be nice to kill, just because Seek Warriors are generally pretty good. But I mean, it very much depends on how things go. Most of these units are going to escape. Except for the Seek Warriors, maybe. <laughs> there we go, come on. 128th, down to four men. There we go. Could dish them out equally, but I may as well mass a load of cavalry against one unit, especially one that's routing somewhat efficiently. yeah my cavalry is spreading out to catch all of the uh, the loose units yeah, there's a couple of shots from my line trying to pick on 
some of these chats, but it looks like they are going to escape because they routed well. There you go. Everyone against these 61 men. Or 25 men. Plus you guys. But they're also going to route because they successfully route because they routed well. Yeah, there's not a lot you can do about that. Pyrrhic victory. I wouldn't really say it was Pyrrhic. We've got a whole bunch of troops nearby who were ready to take advantage of this victory. Yeah, we lost 1,700. They lost more than 10,000 men. We lost, you know, one-sixth of ours. They lost two-thirds of theirs. Especially because some of these, some of our armies are actually completely untouched. So, don't know what you mean. Yeah, this guy got the crap kicked out of him. That's why he's then going to well, can't move back. Mr. F yeah, Mr. Ferris is completely untouched. Nicolo Rosato, just his cavalry, has been hit. To the point where he... He can push and take the city of Lahore with reasonable support now. So, the game said it was a Pyrrhic victory, but I don't think it was. Because we can push and take the city... As we well, I was going to say when we want. Well, that's now. So this force under Giordano Bevilacqua is going to push up to the north because we've got. Eh, they could, eh, we, we've got more troops coming down to the south. Now we do need to hit this force under Musrat Pani, but that's what Simon Endrizi is going to do. First of all, we're going to take Mr. Lozato, and we're going to attack Lahore. It's going to bring in one reinforcing army, but again, this is an army that we've shattered in the open field. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the seizure of Lahore. Cheers, everyone.